all the reasons Miguel is impossible. Miguel's my name is Taffer16. Welcome back to another reaction video, and welcome to my ninth and final reaction to the first series of UK Gladiators. This is it. This is the finale. We're gonna see who the first ever male and female winners are, and we're gonna see who it is right now. All right, let's go. Vanda Fairchild, a staff nurse from Tulse Hill. Jane Morris, a judo player from Swanley. Weininger Irwin, a videotape editor from London, and Kim Dalton, a photographer go. from Croydon, are tonight's finalists facing the ultimate challenge, the might of the gladiators. <laughs> Jet. Warrior. Lightning. Where's Hawk? I'm waiting for it. Shadow. I'm waiting for it. Cobra. Panther. Wolf. Flame. Hawk. There he is. Phoenix, <laughs> Saracen, and Scorpio! Saracen's awesome. From the National Indoor Arena in Birmingham, here are the presenters of Gladiators, John Fashnu and Ulrika Johnson. Oh, God. It's definitely not John Fashnu, man. What the hell are you wearing, man? What the Hello, fuck is that? to a very, very special night for British television. The 1992 Grand Final of Gladiators. Good God. For the past eight weeks, 12 women and 12 men from all walks of life and from all over the country have taken on the challenge of the Gladiators. With sheer strength, determination, Look at this, and, skill, dude. and a lot of willpower, two men and two women have battled their way through to our final. And by the end of tonight's show, our finalists <laughs> will early. be sharing £14,000 in prize money. Wow. Our runners-up will each get £2,000, but our champions, well, they'll be sharing £10,000. And that's not all, because tomorrow our men's champions and our women's champions will be jetting off to the United States by kind invitation of the Samuel Goldwyn Company in Hollywood, where they'll be competing in an international contest oh, wow. against the legendary American gladiators. They were then shot. <laughs> Welcome to America. Our very first finalist tonight is Vanda Fairchild. All right, Vanda. And welcome, Vanda. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Now, Vanda, you're a senior staff nurse at St Mary's uh, Hospital in Paddington in London. Now, when you first took part in the very first heat of Gladiators, did you ever visualise standing here tonight, taking part in the grand final? Well, I was going to give it all that I'd got, but I must admit, I didn't anticipate being here in front of all these people tonight. Well, you've done very well. Well, surprise. Very, very hard, <laughs> in fact, throughout our heats. Now, tell me, what would it mean to you personally if you won the female gladiators championship well i can honestly say it would be incredible after all this is the ultimate challenge and i'm going to do it hey, that's the vanda learned how to pander how about that ladies and gentlemen well as well as the title you stand a chance of winning five thousand pounds as well what would that mean what would you do with the money <laughs> well i'd like to think that i could take all my friends and family out for a huge meal I'm afraid I'd probably end up supplementing my salary as a nurse and oh, spending it on myself. The 10 oh, it's not even 10 That's k terrific. each. Listen, without further ado, I'll let you get off to your atmosphere. The very best of luck to Vanda Fairchild. I thought I'd issue that up there. I know £5,000 is a lot more than that. And then second in our female contest is Jane Morris. For all this shit. What an atmosphere. Jane, now you must be used to this, having won a gold medal in the Commonwealth Games in 1990. What's it like? Um, it's, it's a lot more exciting. The atmosphere is more friendly. And I've not... Anything I'd achieve here is a bonus, really. And who have you oh, got Oh, God, I'm just roasted the whole um, show. The whole of my family, my mum, my dad, no, no, no. her friends. Um, <laughs> <laughs> ah! Give them, give them all hate. My Tuesday instructor. Basically, everybody my mum could find. <laughs> I hope she don't lose. Do if you win the £5,000? <laughs> um, I'm not really sure. The sensible thing to do is to put it in a bank and save it, but who knows if I get it in my hands, what I'll do with it. <laughs> well, we wish you all the best. Jane Morris! 
So as our contenders get into their atlas, someone get that woman a savings account. Commentator John Sachs for a look at the statistics. Thanks, Ulrika. And this is the way the ladies shape up. Band of the driving force in that red atmosphere. Great competitor, third Dan in Aikido Karate, the youngest woman ever to get it. In peak physical condition, climbing aboard our yellow atmosphere, Jane, another exponent of the martial arts, Commonwealth gold medalist in judo and her 11 stone, 7 pounds, an excellent sense of balance, will make this a strong event for her. And in our heavy metal clash, they'll be banging up against Lightning. Let's go. Book and Lightning. Panther, and as you can see, Panther wearing those special gloves which protect gladiators and contenders' hands from the metal grating inside the atmospheres. G-Force are gladiator cheerleaders orchestrating this capacity crowd who are in fine voice. It's time to put up or shut. Can't you just do the guitar part this song once? In our first event, just fucking once, please. Contenders just drop the beat. Ready. Ole. 60 seconds of rocks and shocks. Look at the speed of lightning going like Oh, she do be zooming. Up for Jane catches a mighty oh. on red atmosphere. What a cosmic collision. Our contenders are in for a long ordeal. They'll have to pace themselves over seven of them. Come on, Jane. Jane making a move on pod four. Oh, it's wobbling about. Come on. Way, but in. Damn. He's given up on that one. Yeah, just Makes go for them. On three. Let's see if you can get it in. Oh, Come on. Not again. Can't quite maneuver her atmosphere over the middle of the center. Mick bruh. The mechanism. She's, She's got to get this one. Four. This time, she does it. Hey. She scores three points. Here comes Vanda. Up on the same pod, and she's got it. Yeah, she got it. We're all tied three points each. Not much time left on the clock now. No. Nope. misses on one. Vanda copying her, coming up on one. No. Nope. She's missed as well. Looks like three apiece. Well, collision there. Oh, we're right out of time. Good game. GG. In the replay, let's see if we can see that amazing flying start that Lightning got as she rolled head on for Jane in the yellow atmosphere, catches a mighty wallet from Vanda coming in on the blind Yeah, she got side. clipped. Look at that. In atmospheres, you can throw away your highway code. Is it pretty tough in here being chased by one of the gladiators? Pretty hot in here. It's like being in a tumble dryer. <laughs> <laughs> well, wish you all the best. We've got plenty more events to go. Jane! Damn! Talking of tumble dryers, how about this for a display of tumbling oh, from Lightning in her own right, a 23 gold medal gymnast. Where does she get the energy after that grueling event? So both girls off the mark after one event in this final. It's all square. You say 21 medals? Let's welcome our first male finalist. He Jesus. is Weininger Owen. All right. I, I, you know, I feel like he's going to win. I really want him to win, but I don't know. Welcome. I feel like Weininger's gonna get it. Your hairstyle. It's fabulous. Thank you very much. First of all, oh hey! Oh hey! Hey! hey. <laughs> uh, remind us again about uh, your bizarre name. Okay. Um. At the time of my birth, my father Why was bro? reading a book by a German author. His last name happened to be Weininger. He enjoyed the book so much you just that he gave roast it his as name? A name. Hence, Weininger Erwin. Well, that's terrific. Well, tonight it's really serious stuff. But I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Weird. I'm sorry. Did she just roast his name and her name is Ulrika? The fuck? Have the the men's title. So, uh, what would it mean to you if you won? I would compare my feeling to one of the athletes that have just received the gold medal. I would feel it in that manner. Well, you might not win a gold medal, but you stand the potential of winning five thousand pounds. What would you do with the money? Well, well, basically, I would invest it into future endeavors. Smart. I mean, video editing and so forth. And one day, I will be the best video editor in London. <laughs> yeah, let's start with London. <laughs> very confident. Let's <laughs> start with very London. Very confident indeed, but also very, very sensible. Well, I'd like to take this opportunity to wish you the, wish you the very, very best of luck. Off to your atmosphere, Weininger Owen. Good luck, buddy. And our second male contender tonight is Kim Dalton. Let's go! Come on, Kim. Good to see you, Kim. 
Well, early before the semi-finals, Kim, I think we all had a good laugh when you were telling us about the Chippendales and more and more things about what you used to do. How does this feel tonight? I mean, I know you had the same sort of crowds as the Chippendales. How does it feel? Oh, it feels great, but only tonight I keep my clothes on. Well. <laughs> Kim, did you ever believe that you'd actually be here in our finals of Gladiators? Um, yes, I did. I worked very Got hard him. for it. I trained very hard for it. And um, it's just, you know, I, I think that we've all, all the competitors, all the, work, all the way through, worked very hard. And um, I'm just glad to be here in the final. And what event are you a little bit worried about? Um, the events I think we're all very worried about is the duel up against Shadow. Yeah. But um, apart from that, I'm fairly confident. We wish you all the best, Kim. Off to your atmosphere. You got this, Kim. And as Weininger gets into that full metal jacket of the red atmosphere, he told me earlier on he doesn't use weights to build up his strength. His body is his gymnasium. And looking at those stacks, that's some gymnasium. As he's Kim rips. rode into the yellow atmosphere, I can tell you he's an ex-karate instructor. He's trying to make his own fitness video. His ambition is to be a gladiator. And looking at his stats, I would watch his fitness some video. <laughs> body weight to fulfill that dream. Send me the link. Our gladiators are primed and ready to roll. They'll be trying to shut down our contenders. So it'll be Hawk, a former Mr. Wales bodybuilder. Let's go. And Shadow. Oh, God. In battle, always looks to dominate. He looks pumped up, ready to drill contenders. Those atmospheres are seven feet in diameter. It takes a lot of strength to get them rolling. Now John Anderson is ready to get things rolling here. Gladiators, ready! Three, two, one! Olé. It's crunch time in atmospheres. 60 seconds of rocks and shocks. Contenders trying to score as many oh, times as they can. Look at Shadow go. Oh, what a oh. collision. A real tank buster. Hawk go, Kim. In. Get that? A little shaken, but Damn it. stirred there. Look at Weininger. Look, he's throwing it into reverse. He's gone backwards. He's spin and showing great agility as he accelerates over pod one. And picks he got up that. the first goal. Three points. Meanwhile, Shadow keeping Kim, you gotta get one. Out of pod four. Oh, Weininger motoring towards four. To miss. No. Yeah. Kim makes a move on one. He gets it. Yeah. Clean over the middle. That's three points. Remember, contenders must roll over the middle of those pods. Oh, he got that. Winding on three. He gets it. It's a good roll. Misses on two. Shadow forcing Kim out of pod three. Ah, uh, nope. Damn. Oh, we're out of time. What an exciting game that was. And if we look in the replay, we can check what a great defensive move we get from Shadow there. Body checking Kim right out of the ballpark as he makes a move on pod three. There's one thing that I would like to say. The crowd's out there, you're really fueling me to go on, and I appreciate that. Thanks. Well, the crowd might be fueling one. It'd be funny if he turned to heel. I got one thing to say to all you people out there. Fuck you. Winding his two goals gives him six points, and Kim has scored three. All right, good start. Our next event is this. Bring on the wall. wall. Our finalists face a dramatic 36-foot climb under tremendous pressure right to the very what top. The fuck? Which is where John is. <laughs> Look at like, hello. Being a time limit of 60 seconds. Plus, they know that a gladiator is going to be following them. After 15 seconds for the women and 10 seconds for the men, with only one thing in mind. Are you doing a wave? To pull, the fuck? push, prize them off the wall. If they fall off the wall, well, that's a disaster because they score no points. If they manage to make it to the top here, they score a very, very valuable 10 points. If after 60 seconds they're still hanging on the wall by one hand, their teeth, whatever, they still get five points. Jane Morris rough on concentrating the teeth. on every inch of the 36-foot wall in front of her, knowing that coming up behind her will be Phoenix. Oh, who's shit. Concentrating on showing us her physique. She do be buff. Amanda Fairchild needs to take full advantage of that 15-second head start she'll have over Scorpio. Lucky. Scorpio's catch record almost 100% in this event. Contenders, you will start on my first whistle. Gladiators, you will start on my second whistle. Three, two, one. Come on, Jen. Well, both ladies say this is their least favorite event. In their semi-finals, neither Jane or Vanda scored any points, both being caught and pulled from the face of the wall. 
Both girls climbing steadily and comfortably, but that will all change as the second whistle oh, means on, the Jen. gladiators are coming up. Oh, shit. The Phoenix is on James Scorpio after Vanda. And look at them go. Oh, shit. Go. Go, Jane. There's ten points at stake if contenders get to the top five if they manage to hang on in there. Oh, Lord. And look. Scorpio oh, Lord. has got it to grips oh, with Vanda already. Oh, Lord. And what a tug of war. Got her. Go, Jane! No Go, Jane! Chance. Kick her off! Jane now Go, Jane! Yes! Phoenix. Come on! No, you're so She's close! Right ankle. Phoenix trying everything she knows to pull Jane you're off. so but close! Incredible strength and determination. Hold on! Hold on to that whistle for five points. Time Come on, Phoenix. hold it! Hold She's it! On. Phoenix yeah! Five points. Well done. Good job. Let's have a look at the action. As we look now from Phoenix helmet camera, just look at the effort. Jane gritting her teeth, hanging on. She's well like, done. no, fuck you. What was it like when you were waiting for the whistle to be blown? I was just thinking, hurry up, please. Yeah. <laughs> well done, Jane. She's picked up five. So after that titanic struggle, here's Good how job. the scores in the women's final have shaken down. After two events, Vanda's still on three. Jane hits the lead, clocking up eight. It's the men's wall next. Weininger Irwin looking to consolidate his three-point lead, knowing he's only got ten seconds before Cobra will be oh, slithering shit. after Cobra. him. Oh, damn. Kim needs plenty of get-up-and-go. Oh, the fuck. Pleasing and highly confident Saracen. God damn it. Defenders will start on my first whistle. Gladiators will start on my second whistle. All right. Three, two, one. Kim says this is his favorite oh, event, yeah. and he do be is jumping. no wallflower. Both guys got to the top in their heats and their semis, but will they be able to hang on to those 100% records now that Cobra and Saracen oh, God. are commencing their offensive? Look at those guys go. Oh, God. Cobra moving up on Weininger. Go, Kim. Oh, he's lost his grip. Cobra's off the face of the Oh, wall, wow. Furious with himself for that unforced error. Kim, go! Saracen climbing strongly, but look at Kim. He's at the top, still fighting. <laughs> Over. He memed on him! Hands down a victory wave to Saracen. Ten awesome points. Here comes Weininger. What a great shot. He That's memed great. on him. They make it look so easy. Congratulations, Kim. That's ten points you've just got there. Very valuable. Yeah, thank you very much. The third time Saracen's chased me. I thought on the third time he had to get me, but I made it. Great. Thanks. Let's go. Well done, Kim. Saracen? There used to be only one Saracen. At the moment, there isn't a Saracen. Oh, wow, what the fuck? I've got him on hang tough. I mean, he's pretty quick on the wall. I mean, he's made me look better than this wall throughout this series. He's going to suffer on hang tough tonight. Is that a promise? Look at Cobra. He's like, I'm just happy to be here. Saracen, a popular gladiator. And after two events, the scores in the men's final increase, but Weininger maintains a three-point advantage. Weininger 16, Kim 13. All right. Event three is Danger Zone. Oh, Contenders okay. score one point for every weapon they fire at that target at the other end of the arena, or ten points yeah, if they hit it. Scorpio's the sniper who'll be aiming to serve up a barrage of tennis balls from her platform, and the first girl in the firing line is Vanda. Contender ready! You like Vanda. Come on, Vanda. Do you prefer? Three, two, one. Vanda heads out into the danger zone. The first time she took a walk on the wild side, she was picked off after scoring two points. And in her semi-final two weeks ago, she managed surprised to score three one. events in and Those stations self-destruct after ten seconds, but Vanda's made it safely the to finale, the bazooka. Boy. Oh, and a great shot Ooh, there. I mean, just close. off target. Moves across to the mortar. This is Scorpio's first time as a Danger Zone Gladiator, finding it say. hard to zero in. Vanda showing great evasive agility there. It's onto the rocket launcher. Oh, another oh, near no. miss. She makes a break for the tunnel. Scorpio running shot down and she takes her hit. She got her. Oh, she was in the safety zone. She punches the target mechanism that hangs Scorpio out to dry. Well, Vanda's claiming it. We'll have to look at that replay. No, I think she hit her. See. As she comes out the tunnel, she gets a hit on the shoulder, but she's in the safety zone. There's the hit. Hey, That's a wait foul a shot. Vanda punches home. That's 10 points. Next to I... the DZ comes Jane. Contender Hold up. ready! I gotta see There's this again. the hit. Vanda's claiming it. We'll have to look at that replay, and we can clearly see. As she comes out the tunnel, she gets a hit on the shoulder, but she's in the safety zone. There's the hit. That's a foul shot. Vanda punches home. That's I guess. Okay. Next into the DZ comes Jane. Contender 
Ready! Four weapons no, to fire at the target, 60 seconds in which to do it. In this Banda, game, you actually have to, or not Banda, I'm sorry, Jane, Banda you actually have to go. Heat, but only scored one in her semi last week, taking her time with that crossbow. Oh, the crossbow oh. station explodes at the time it expires. She scurries for the bazooka. Oh, John Anderson blows the whistle. Scorpio skybound, which means Jane must have scored a direct hit on the target with that crossbow oh. shot. Okay, but fuck yeah. She released the bolt before the station went into self-destruct mode. And get look, fucking memed on. See Jane gets the shot she on hit that? Just a fraction of a second before the sparks fly, and there's the result. <laughs> the bullseye. Let's go, Jane. Jane acknowledging the cheers of the crowd as she maintains that five-point lead. Banda 13, Jane 18. Absolute well, meme. It's the men's turn to hit and be missed. First up, it's Weininger, who'll be facing the firepower in the tennis balls of the mighty warrior. Warrior's leg in plaster after sustaining a serious knee. Wait a minute, what? Four weeks ago in Atlaspheres. Uh, the doctor said, Warrior, don't walk for six weeks. Oh, my God. Overruling our producer as well. It takes more than a dislocated kneecap to stop a gladiator. How the hell did they let him he get booked on this? Bro, go home. <laughs> what the fuck? Two, Look at this man. One. He's got his so shit wrapped. So, Weininger runs into this shootout at the go Gladiator home, Corral. Go home, bro. In his heat, he scored a 10. In his semi, he picked doing? up two. So, another bad record for the videotape editor from London. Scores one by firing the crossbow. Come on, bro. the bazooka now. One of the more accurate weapons. This fucking dude. Oh, and oh got advantage. it. A direct hit, 10 points. You're gonna finish yeah, it. don't lift him in the air. No, don't do Weininger it. Did. Oh, my God. Do than just hang around. I bet he's glad to get the weight off that leg. And don't the Weininger supporters love it? Ten points for a job well done. Let's see how Kim's Who let man. this man get... Uh, who booked Ready. this date for this man? Overruled the producer, my ass. Three, two, one. Kim, a real Top Gun hotshot. 100% record in the last two outings in the danger Ooh. zone. Gets the crossbow. Oh, straight through the middle. Remember, each firing yep. station self-destructs yep. in 10 seconds, whether you fire the weapon or not. That looked like a ricochet. <laughs> Referee says play on. We'll watch the replay on that. Off with a bazooka. Uh, no. Close. Sparks Go, Kim. That station two. Kim's facing a volley of tennis balls at the hand of Warrior. He's on to the mortar now. Nope. Oh, Warrior rattles that windscreen with a shot. He's got him. Oh, he got him. Warrior Damn. Fighting through the pain. Gets his reward, a direct hit, taking Kim out of the ballpark. Kim, a great character and a great sportsman. But look at this first shot. As the ball comes in, it ricochets and hits the leg. So that's why referee John said, play on. So after three events uh -oh. in this men's final, Weininger shoots into a 10-point lead. Weininger 26, Kim 16. Still to come in this 1992 grand final, three more demanding and nail-biting events as our four finalists battle it out for that time advantage in our eliminator at the very end of the show. So join us after the break as Weininger, Kim, Vanda and Jane continue their campaign against the ultimate challenge of the Gladiator! All right, Eureka's on some coke tonight. What are you wearing, bro? Look at those pants, too. Who dressed you? Our next event is Swing Shot. Jane and Vander are harnessed up to a shock cords, waiting to face the might of the gladiators. Phoenix! Let's go, Phoenix. And Flame! Wow. Four events in, they did not so both get. That's crazy. John Sachs. Thanks, John. In swing shot, it's a case of she who dares swings. Remember, only one ball per swing. Yellow worth one, two for blue, and for the high flyers, red means three. Only one man's ever gotten red. Sisters, it's swing shots. Oh, and in that Oi. Final, Banda grabs a yellow. Jane in the altercation picks up a blue. Good job, Dan. And into the baskets they go. Remember, contenders have to get back up those 15 foot towers and deposit Ooh, their winnings no. safely in their swing shot baskets. Another blue there. Oh, With no, she Jane got it. Oh, I didn't even know. High. Let's go, Jane. Up she goes. She's going for all the blues. Oh, my God. Banda put 
gets the yellow in. Jane picks up that blue for another two points. Good scoring oh. there. Ah, good jump there. And a miss there for Fanda. Gets to the top and ready to come down again. Up she goes. She's got a hand oh. on that yellow. And Let's she go. Jane's got another blue. Bro, Jane is beast in this. Nothing else will do. Oh, uh, she get it? The cylinder bear. Holy shit! She's got ten points so far. Great technique. A good block there from God Blake. damn, Jane. Well, he certainly got into the swing of things. Wow. The balls in the baskets mean Vander notch up three points and Jane ten. And in the replay, Jane's body weight and timing give a tremendous power in her jumps. Look she how took, she like, all the blue. The <laughs> After four events, Vander's on sixteen, Jane twenty-eight. Next up, it's the men who'll swing their thing. Whining going up it. against his old adversary, the wolf. And the message oh, is shit. in the music. <laughs> Let's go. But as we've seen before, Wolf likes to call the tune and get a load of that chorus of support. They call him Wolf because you should see how he eats his dinner. Hawks perched on high, and don't the crowd just love it when he spreads those wings? Look at the size of those biceps. I love that, dude. Ready! Gladiators, ready! Three, two, one! Let's go. It's swing time. Down they come and up they go. Each contender oh, and gladiator shot court specially adjusted to the individual body weight to get the perfect lift. Oh, can we get up? Weininger gets his blue in there for two. And up he goes for some more. All rejected. Back to the candy store. Okay, Kim's got yellow. One in. Weininger loads up with another yellow. Ah, in it body goes. check. Scoring well. Down for some more. Up he goes. Oh, whoa. Round to yellow. That was close. Got that well. Into the basket. He's got the hang of this swing thing, but look at Kim there, struggling to get it back up the tower. Wow, Kim has nice roll there from the hawk. There you go. Oh, oh no! That won't do. Damn. Yeah, one more shot. Kim making hard work of this. Winding her up, he goes. And it looks like he got a yellow there. No, he didn't. Some good body Damn. checking from our gladiators here. Yeah, the Kim gladiators did a really good job. Oh. Blocked again, a yellow comes off. Weininger got a piece of that yellow. Kim will be unhappy wow. with his performance there, having real problems climbing up the tower. Yeah, and that's going to come. And traffic certainly looked pretty busy, judging the view from Hawk's helmet camera as we swing with the Hawk towards the cylinder, and look how high he gets. Yeah, they're getting smacked. If we take it from another angle, from our floor camera, you'll be able to see just how this event is no Oof. walk in the park. Just look at the body slam. After four events, oh, Weininger man. 30, Kim 17. Whoa. You make my heart. Whoa. Whoa. Can I have a few words with you? No one's been able to interview with you at the whole event. Can we have a few words with you? But well, getting an interview with Wolf is as easy as getting one with Madonna. Brave try, John. <laughs> but Wolf has slipped his leash. He's out of control. Where's his trainer? Oh, the crowd love that wild thing. Ah, oh, he seems to be on the scent of someone. Oh, God! Out oh, God! Even Lionel Blair doesn't deserve this treatment. <laughs> oh, I don't know, though. Event five is hang tough. Jet, a former Finally! gymnast squad. I mean, hey. There's the famous jet roll coming. Oh, yeah. It went down well with the fans in the audience. You mean everyone? Facing Jet will be Vander, who is yet to score in this event. And for the fans at home, Jet stats are 38, 25, 35. She stands at graceful five foot seven. Blair died recently. Three, two, one. I think it was just last year. Yeah. 60 second high speed chase, ring to ring, up. requiring arm power, upper body strength, proving to be the least favorite with the ladies. Vanda makes a tentative start. She'll need to concentrate and make her move at just the right time. Remember, 10 points if she makes it to Jet's platform, five if she hangs tough in the scoring zone. What are you doing, Bandit? Close enough to make contact yet. No, that's too much of a stretch. Bandit. 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 Oh. Bandit. Sent the wrong way there. Oh, Jet's tied up. 
Oh. And Vanda makes a move. Hey! See that blue ring? She's in the scoring zone. Now she can hang in there. She'll pick up five points. But no, she's ambitious. She Don't be ambitious, ring. Vanda. Just hold it. Jet's the tied up. Oh no, the Peruvian Deathlock. Oh, kicked her off. Get close Defense. Defense. <laughs> nice. Jet fails to take Vanda down, but delights the crowd. Not sure what Jet was doing there. Vanda ever so happy with that. Down she comes. Oh, look at oh, that. Oh my god. Down she comes. And a fly past. Shit. Vanda defends well. See how she brings her legs up effectively. Keeping yeah, that was good defense. Away. Congratulations, Vanda. Great display. That's the first time I've ever hung on and got five points. Well, Jane, like Vanda, yet to prove herself in this oh, event, Vanda. having failed Ready. to score in either the preliminary or the semi final. Come on, Jane. She is not like confident. <laughs> Jesus Lord. Three, two, one. So it's 60 seconds of hang tough. I get the feeling Jane would settle for five points by hanging tough in the scoring zone, but she's a great competitor, gold medalist in judo at the Commonwealth Come Games. On, and like all the other events, she'll go for it. Jet targeting Jane, but Jane keeping an eye on her maneuvers. The rings are 10 feet above the ground. Four yeah, feet Jane's apart, definitely confident in this. End to end, not for the faint-hearted. Jane really not getting to grips, she's just hanging there. Yeah. Isn't this a DQ? Jet makes a move. Peruvian Deathlock. Locks on straight away. Takes it down for a crash landing. Jane eats Max. That's that. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> she never moves. She comes a real textbook landing after five events. Vanda's on 21, okay. Jane on 28. Van need that. Saracen's the man oh, the Lord. guys have to beat, and the audience are singing his favorite song. There's only one Saracen. I can't really make it out, but. All right. This is Saracen's favorite, undefeated in Hang Tough. Weininger's mission to get to the other side. Who did Kim beat that? Touchdown on Saracen's platform within the 60 seconds means 10 this points. Off. The other alternative is to tough it out in the scoring zone for five. Ooh. That's that one. W, you gotta go, Barbara. That's the wrong way. There you go. Okay. Saracen. Oh! Oh, we take the turn. oh, go W. Saracen quick to check him. Oh, Another. he's going to box you out. But he might just be too far away. Whining has got a blue ring, so he's in the scoring zone. Yeah, get zone. the blue. Oh, he's going for the Peruvian Deathlock. Oh, there you go. Defense. 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 No, time's going to be up. Defense! Let's go. Good job. Oh man, can oh, you have to get points line. here? Man. Delighted with that. And there's a cloud of chalk dust. Who are you, LeBron James? Congratulations, Reiniger. You got your five points. Definitely, I did it where it counted. He did in the LeBron James celebration. In like the semis. He got me both times. Run even born? With Saracen, I got you this time. <laughs> no, it's only four. What are you two? And I wonder if that performance has like inspired ten. Kim. He has a better track record, although he didn't score Kendo in the preliminaries. Ready. He's the only contender in the series so far to have made it to the other side and scored like full ten points. All right, Kim, you have to score here, bro. Tough. Saracen still smarting after that blemish on his 100% track record. Kim looking for a repeat of that fabulous performance, scoring 10 points in his semi. Give Here's me a 10 semi. points now. Still quite a ways behind Weininger. Remember, five points if he hangs tough in the scoring zone. 
Come on, Kim. Kim, a karate instructor. Oh, and no. And 15 chin-ups in our qualies, proving he has the oh, upper no. body strength. Defending oh, Saracen with no. the legs then. That seems to be effective. Oh, Saracen no. never take his eyes off Kim. Kim, you got to get to the blue, my brother. Kim takes a left turn, misses it. Oh, uh, fuck. Saracen has problems of his own. Oh! There, floundering for another ring. What's Kim doing? Taking the long way round. He's coming up on the platform, though. Oh, oh no. Can he, can he do it again? Oh, time up. Oh, he went for it all. Oh, five points, though. He did get five, okay. And look at that. Hey! Kim really enjoying himself. Picks up five points. Okay. Saracen's had a good time as well. Smiles all round. He wanted to do it again. And the scores after five events. Weininger maintains uh, his lead over Kim. Fuck. 35 to 22. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> The dueling platforms 12 feet well, tall. Kim's not gonna make points up here. On top of one stands that hot gladiator property flame. You set to cross pugil sticks straight. with Vanda. Ready. Remember, no dropping your sticks or stepping across to the opponent's platform. That's an instant DQ. Ready. Who's that dude that's standing behind John Anderson? The grim so 10 points for putting the flame out, or 5 for going the distance, which he has done in the last two excursions. Okay. Flame 6 okay. foot and 10 stones okay. and burning aggression, 100% okay. record okay. to uphold. Okay. Oh, okay. oh, oh, what's oh. on the body? Oh. 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 He's smiling, which he's used to combat. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. Flame oh. works to the head. Oh, oh. oh. wild swings there oh. from Flame. Oh. Great defense from Vanda. Oh. Puts oh. in one herself. Oh. Takes a licking, but keeps on sticking. She's gone the distance. All right, good job. Another five points. I'm not nervous when I get up there at all. It's, I don't know, that's my main event. I think that's the best one. I you like need it to be. <laughs> you got to hold this. Come on, Jim. Whack her. Do you remember the last time between these two in yeah. the semis, they both came off even and Jane landed that late blow after the whistle. Flame will be I remember that. Punisher, but like Vanda, Ooh. Jane's a at home in Oh! Combat. She's going for the smackage. Flame giving away Ooh. one and a half stones. It's blow for blow. Ooh. She flinched. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Ah, hey, that's my line. put a good combination together there. Oh. This one Ooh. will go the distance. Oh. Oh. Relentless. Oh. oh. Those roundhouses. Oh. Flame. Oh. Defending. Five points. And again, Jane landed on blow late after the whistle. No, she didn't. This time, Flame steps across to show respect for this worthy contender. They've given us two great contests. So both Vander and Jane pick Thought up Flame five was about to hit the rock bottom. And after six events, <laughs> Vander's on 26, <laughs> Jane on 33. I want to have a chance to hit Shadow instead of him hitting me, 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 you know? <laughs> I want to have a chance. I mean, it's, it's, it's good. You know, I give credit where credit is due, and he's uh, definitely good at what he does, obliterating What's that, steroids? <laughs> It's good to see Weininger can laugh about it. In his last meeting with Shadow, it was all over before he even got started. Bro, just go for it. Just give him some wackage and Loves nothing see what happens. Than drilling those <laughs> contenders. Another mismatch in body weight. Weininger getting away nine stones. Shadow breaks a contender spirit as well as their body. And sometimes he breaks his pugil stick. And sometimes he sticks a needle in his ass. Oh God! Oh! Oh God! Oh Jesus! Oh the oh the smackage! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Give him the smackage! Yeah! There you go! There you go! Smack him back! The smack that styles back! Goldfish! Oh, shit. Jesus fucking hell! God damn! Fuck ass! Jesus Christ! Heinous! What the fuck? God damn! Fucking hell! Oh Jesus! Oh fucking Lord! Oh God! Oh, and you two could look like that. Wow. Anyone got a chin opener to get that helmet off? Shadow steps across. Let's face it, it takes a special kind of contender to withstand an onslaught like that. Jesus. Weininger must be seeing stars and not a lot else as that helmet oh, comes Oh, Kim, you're in so much it's trouble, bro. <laughs> Give him a headache, Shadow. 
Well, while Weininger goes oh, off for the paracetamol, fuck. Kim gives a macho look to the camera and tries to stare it out with a shadow. Yeah, Kim's in so much like trouble, Like gladiators bro. of old, jousting mano a mano. And who'd trade places with Kim New now? strategy, throw the me. stick at him. <laughs> Hit him with a drop kick. <laughs> oh, God. Oh! So Kim, our ex Chippendale, looking to go 30 seconds. That's an early hit, machine, I think. The undefeated heavyweight Shadow. Come on, Kim. Playing a defensive role as Shadow throws everything at him. That's smart. Going high, going low. He can't take much more of this. Oh, he's dropped his stick. It's all Damn over. It. Instant DQ, no points. Shadow shakes his hand. At least he didn't get knocked. Let's have a look at that replay. <laughs> I thought Shadow was just about to count two awesome roundhouses. The question is, if we look at that again, did Shadow knock the pewter stick out, or did he drop it? No, he knocked it out. Let's look at it in close up. Looks like he surrendered to me, and who can blame him? He does want to lose all his senses before the Eliminator. He surrendered after. Shadow's June. Kim's like, fuck. <laughs> it's 40 points. Ah! So much pain. Well, after those dramatic duels, I think we all need a chance to catch our breath. We'll be back after a short break when you can see the heart-stopping Eliminator. Yeah, in Kim's our ultimate fucked. challenge in this year's Gladiator. Weininger's not going to lose with that kind of thing. Hell, Weininger would still be a threat if he didn't have a with that kind of advantage, After yeah, six he's heats and two semi-finals, we finally yeah. reached the climax of this series of gladiators. I am, of course, talking about the Eliminator. Sudden death. This is the final run that will decide our two champions. Jane's ahead of Vander by seven points. Remember, each point is worth half a second. So those seven points give Jane a three and a half. That's second not really advantage. anything. Well, Jane, this is the last run. This is the big one. The one you prepared for. How are you feeling? Um, nervous, very, very nervous. You should be, yeah. Well, you've got a three and a half second lead over Vanda. That's not you've anything, bro. Confident. Um, I don't really know what to say to that. I'm just going to give it my best <laughs> shot. Well, we saw you in the semi finals. We saw you come back from the dead. I'm sure you won't have to do that again here. Hope not. <laughs> well, we wish you all the best. Jane! <laughs> all right, good luck, Jane. This is the Eliminator, everything you've worked for. Could you give us some insight into your thoughts at this present moment? It's very stressful standing here waiting for it, but once I'm up there, I shall certainly do my best, and I'm going to win! Yeah. Well, of course, in order to get the show on the road, I'd like to hand you over to John Sachs. Thanks, Uli. Welcome to the Eliminator. These nine obstacles will decide who gets Did what Did like take promo class before this? Or something? <laughs> 20 feet up the cargo net, then over and down the slide using your front or back. Nine feet of scramble sheep, then on to one of the most demanding of our obstacles, the hand bike, which the guys use, and the ladies, the overhead ladder. Should a contender fall, it will cost them 10 seconds. Keep your balance for the rolling beam. 20 feet long there, onto the second cargo net, up to the platform to Make catch the women use the hand Grabbing bike. the zip line for a 90 foot equal descent Equal rights, onto equal, the equal bikes. <laughs> it's a sharp left, and hopefully with enough energy, a punishing scramble up the awesome travelator. <laughs> make it to the top, grab the rope, make like Tarzan, through the paper burst, that and hopefully the dumbest as champion of Gladiators 1992. Who will it be? Vanda? <laughs> or Jane? Jane, you will go on my first whistle. Vanda, you will go on my second whistle. Three, two, one! Go, Jane. Jane gets a three and a half second start. Okay, good start. She's gonna need it. She struggled with net favorite events. Her times in her last two eliminated runs have been better than some of the men's. Her best being 115. That's why I think it's up Jane. Jane. Oh, oh come on, Jane. 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 Down the slide. Jane's catching as they both go to the overhead ladder, neck and neck. Courage, grit and will, speed, strength and skill are finally showing ample supplies of those requirements. Right. Oh, let's go. The Eliminator is everything it's cracked up to be. It makes the Krypton Jane look this. like a walk in the park. Neck and neck. Oh, fuck, never net, brother. Across the rolling beam. This one's going right down to the That's line. As we sail gladiators, it's oh, over shit. till it's over. What's my favorite? It's a real test as Jane and Bander attack their cargo <laughs> net together. Damn, you gladiators. to the top first. 
onto the platform. Come on, James. James. Still struggling oh, as shit. Bander shit. grabs a zip line. Yeah, 90 that's feet it. down to the crash mat. And she's still smiling oh, as she rolls into position to take on the Travelator. Jane hot on her heels. Bander's that's only going to get game. one shot at this. They should rename this one the Terminator. It's a real endurance test. A one way ticket through the yeah, Bay Area. Keep going. She's up. She's got the rope. Geronimo. She's through the Bay Reverse. Look, there's mum and dad in the audience giving her a victory salute. Come on, Jane. Jane's still going. There are no losers on Gladiators, just winners and runners up. And now the there's losers. Gets 2,000 pounds. <laughs> Banda's our champion as she lifts the trophy. There you go, it's plastic! <laughs> the audience give her a much deserved ovation. What a great contender she's been. Tremendous sportsmanship. She gets the trophy. Careful, the money's in there. We fly to Hollywood, courtesy of Sam Goldwyn Company, for a chance to take part against the legendary American Gladiators. Yeah, look at my trophy, you asshole. <laughs> what was that? Was that a clown horn? Wait. I'm afraid. The words are gonna have to come from you. I'm sorry, anyone else hear that clown horn? <laughs> what the fuck? Amanda, I'm afraid the words are gonna have to come from you. <laughs> when you've caught your breath. I was so close, I'm so impressed with Jane. She nearly There's caught me three again. or four times. Suddenly she was nearly with me on the ladder and then there she was on the cargo and there. I just like everybody for supporting me. Thank you. Good job, Banda. Especially I'd say thank you to my mum and dad, David's my mom, David's mum and dad, and to my boyfriend David. Thank you for cheering me on. Well done, Banda. Don't feel bad, Jane. You got two thousand pounds. That's a lot in the '90s. Kinda. Maybe not. Well, Jane, this might soften the blow a little bit. Here's a check for two thousand pounds. <laughs> Anyone you'd like to thank for supporting you, Jane? My mum and dad for keep travelling backwards and forwards, and all our friends and everybody else, my judo instructor, and all the other contenders for coming back and supporting us both. Damn you, Nets! And I would like to just say hello to a friend of mine who he broke his neck doing judo. Just to say hello to Owen Lowey. Lovely. Lovely. Thank you very much. Oh, that's nice. They raised the trophy. That is your participation While trophy, motherfucker. <laughs> Look at this shit. I want it. She up the notorious <laughs> Travelator, which has been the downfall of many a contender. She grabs the, the rise of Darth Vanda. becomes champion. Now it's the turn of the men, winding his 18 points in the lead. Each point gives him half a second head start, mm. so 18 points means a nine second advantage. Ah, uh, yeah, that's Colkin, it. You've got nine seconds to make up. Do you think you can do it? It's going to be very hard, but yeah. some people have caught up um, bigger time de deficits than that, so hopefully yeah. um, I'll be right on his tail. You're facing Are a you pro worried? gamer now. Um, worried, but confident at the same time. Well, Kim, that's, I like we wish that, you all yeah. the best. Kim! I'd be shocked if W chokes this lead, though. What could possibly be the biggest challenge of your life? What's going He's not going to choke this. Well, to, to be honest with you, um, confidence. Uh, whatever endeavor I take, whether it be the gladiators or any aspect of my life, I'm always confident. I always take it with a positive instead of a negative, so I'm very, very confident right now. He looks nervous as shit. <laughs> Kim's fastest time on the Eliminator so far is 1 minute 7 seconds. Weininger, 1 minute 1 second. So with a 9 second mm. start time, Kim's got everything to do. Weininger, yeah. you will go on my first whistle. Kim, you will go Great on run, my second Kim, whistle. Great run, Kim, but yeah. Three, He's not going to choke two, this. There's no one. way. So here it is, the I'd be shocked if he choked this. His head start and rockets up the cargo net. Weininger covering the slides. Yeah, there it's, he it's, goes. it's already Under over. Scramble sheet. There's still no sign of Kim. Weininger already ten foot across. Across the rolling beam onto the yeah, cargo it's net. Yeah, done. Kim slowing down on the hand bike there. Weininger finding inspiration. Damn. Fully JJ. Reserves of energy. 
focused on the job ahead. £5,000 prize money and the chance to take on the American Gladiators in JJ Kim. A man on a mission. The zip line, he comes down onto the crash mats. Kim's only just made it to the platform. Yeah, it's Lightning done. can see him out of the corner of his eye as he approaches his run up to the travelator, and nothing is going to stop this man. That, yeah, that's, that's easy money. He's up, waits to the family, grabs a rope. Yeah, it was too much of a deficit. Oh, his father proudly He tied his best time, too. Here comes Kim, still enjoying every moment as he makes his way up the travelator as the runner up. Deserving his £2,000. Good job, Kim. And what a terrific sportsman he's been. Weininger is waving. It's his father. He's waving his father down from the auditorium to share the magic moment with him. Be funny if she had security just tackled him. Father and son enjoying it. <laughs> Intruder! Oh, Intruder on a gladiator's court. Here comes Mum, Weininger Irwin, our 29-year-old videotape editor from Stoke Newington, born in London but spent some time in the U.S., hence the accent. A proud family. What? Wayne, needless to say, you dropped the second most important thing out of your title there. Did she just say Wayne? Pounds. Did she just call him Wayne? You dropped... Stoke Newington, born in London but spent some time in the U.S., hence the accent. A proud family. Wayne, needless to say, Wayne! you dropped the second most important thing out of your title there. Five thousand pounds. What is Eureka on in this one? Now feel? she just committed sexual assault. I feel great, but even more so. All right, it, 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 this was a very, very big challenge. And for all the kids, the parents, no matter what in life, always take a positive attitude. It will get you through. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> it was start of Darth W. Very, very and what about Daddy? Darth That's Wayne. <laughs> Not only that, I must say, my mom is a very, is an inspiration to me. Every morning before she goes to work. She jumps on her fitness bike, and that's insp inspirational. To <laughs> she could be a future contender. Who knows? <laughs> the well, Kim, Let's go. Our runner -up. Most important thing is, have you enjoyed it? I've enjoyed it very much. It's been a fantastic experience. And will you come back again? Definitely. Fuck yeah. Kim, here's a check for two thousand pounds. Fuck yeah. Thank you. You beautiful man. Sportsman, what a tremendous final. We couldn't have asked for more from all of our contenders. Who are now celebrating with family and friends in the audience. Vanda gets a kiss there from her mum and dad. Vanda and Weininger have proved themselves to be the two ultimate champions. We hope you'll join us again next year <laughs> when more people will be facing <laughs> more the people. challenge of <laughs> the Gladiator! All right, well, see you next series. Maybe. Of the okay, first off, I gotta say, what the fuck was up with Eureka in that one? First of all, she tries to roast him for having a weird name when she has a fucking weird name. And then she called him Wayne! She called him fucking Wayne at the end. What the fuck? I mean, I was calling him W, but at least that makes sense. She just straight up called him a whole other fucking name. She called him Wayne? <laughs> what the hell? Well, yeah, I just, I just had a feeling, you know, Weininger had the kind of aura around him where I, I feel like, I felt like he was going to win, you know, and yeah, it was just, as soon as I saw that nine second head start, I'm like, yeah, that's it. Kim had a great run, uh, literally a history making run in that semifinal, but he really did peak in the semifinal, I'll tell you. First person to grab the red, then first person to make it across on the uh, hang tough thing. He, he, he peaked to hell in the semifinal. And then, dad, Jane had a shot, but them damn Nets, them Nets, brother, just held her up. So, damn. But it was a fun show. I'm glad that I ended up deciding to watch through that. I hope you guys enjoyed watching through it with me. Uh, will we do Series 2? Maybe. Will we do it immediately? Maybe. Don't know really the answer to either of those things, but we'll have to see. If you're interested in seeing Series 2, then let me know. That, though, is going to do it for my 
Final reaction of Series 1 of UK Gladiators. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. If you didn't like it, don't. If you want to follow any of my social media links, my Twitch, where I stream every single day, my second channel for recent views, my Twitter. If you want to follow me, my Patreon. If you want to support me on my daily motion, all those things are in the video description down below. Also in the video description is linked to Community Rate, as well as the dance schedule, as well as the Twitch Vods channel. With that being said, though, uh, my name is Taffer. It's my ninth and final reaction to UK Gladiators Series 1, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.